Welcome back to the channel guys. Uh, I got something kind of fun I want to share with you today. It's a new tool I've been carrying around the shop. Uh, I don't think it's very new to the market but it's something that I just acquired uh, and that is the Spectrum Smart Cell Checker. Um, I do a lot of battery checking here at the shop. Uh, people bring in dead batteries, uh, batteries off balance, batteries won't charge, everything to do with batteries. Uh, so I was looking for a pretty good cell checker and I've had quite a few in the past, some with just the little beepers on them. Uh, I had a pretty good one from, uh, oh man I can't remember now, I think it's Checkpoint or something like that. <clears throat> and they're all been pretty good. But this Spectrum one uh, kind of took things to the next level for me. Not only does it have your standard cell checker, uh, but it also uh, checks the cells on the new G2 batteries that are on the side there which I will show you in a moment. And it gives you a lot of fun readouts on here. And another big thing, it checks servos. Check that out, we got a servo plug right there and also an out charger for USB. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, so I've been using this thing for the last couple weeks pretty much every day. So I figured I would share with you guys because it's a pretty awesome little tool to have in your box. So I'm gonna show you guys little details. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe. Let's check out this thing a little bit more. All right, guys, so a little bit closer look at this guy here. Uh, this does do the Spectrum Smart uh, uh, batteries here. You can see it's got a little pin there. And then just a regular uh, balance uh, connection port there. Uh, the biggest I've done is a, uh, a six cell with this, but it uh, looks like it'll go much further than that. Um, nice, decent sized screen there. It's my hand there, so you can see it. All kind of touch buttons here. There's nothing like physically to feel. And then on the side here, USB, a servo tester and a 5 volt USB so kind of some cool fun features with it there That's what it says on the back there you guys can check that out so I did grab a couple things uh, I do have an adapter here uh, this is the IC3 IC5 adapter for so going the side here uh, so I've been primarily using this to check the Spectrum G2 batteries um, because they do not have a balance port so you Basically, you have to either have the charger set up or one of these. Uh, and for me to around the shop to have uh, one of each charger set up is kind of a pain. I just use one charger, um, and it's not a Spectrum one, unfortunately. But uh, so I grab one of these. Um, this battery is actually a bad one, so I did that on purpose, uh, so you guys could kind of see what it looks like when you plug in a bad battery, which is primarily what I've been using it for. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in. Should make some beeps here. Power's on. All right, so this is supposed to be a three cell. So there it is, the alarm going off because one cell's not even registering and one is only at 1.4 volts. Um, and the overall voltage readout here. So this battery is no good. Um, and it's also giving off the temperature of the battery because of the smart chip inside the battery. Now this isn't a video to show anything wrong or bad about these batteries. This one was just illy taken care of and is no good they left it plugged in and an outside so uh, nothing against the spectrum batteries it was just a way to show you uh, what a dead one looks like on here so i just wanted to show you that real quick and i did grab another battery here more of just a basic two cell this guy right here something you might find a lot of this is our brand the new wave one so i'm going to go ahead and plug it in the balance port on the side here so you can see what it looks like so this is what a good battery will look like Right there, it gives you the overall voltage. It's giving me the percentage, which is pretty cool of how charged it is. And then we have individual cell charge on the side with the individual voltage. So that's pretty cool. So getting into the menu here a little bit, we'll click on that. We got some cool things in here. So the battery's still attached to it, so I'm fighting that a little bit. We'll start, uh, we'll start at the top here. All right, so at the top, uh, basic menu, we got uh, well, I shouldn't say basic. Even for a cell checker to have a menu is pretty cool. Uh, most of I've just been a, a regular digital screen with really nothing going on other than voltage. So it's pretty cool that you got some settings to play with here. So we got language, you can change the amount of brightness, the volume, I'm assuming, of the clicking and when it beeps at you. Just a uh, turn it up and down there. Uh, system information. Basically just the software on it. I'm assuming this is updatable and stuff like that. Alarm tone, uh, battery type. You can do different types of lithium batteries. I just leave it in LiPo, it's primarily what I use it for. 
Uh, you can set your voltage alarm, so that's what that was beeping at us because it was only at a volt or one volt. Uh, this is how you activate the USB charging on the side. You do have to plug in the main lead, which I'll show you with a servo in a moment. And then there's your servo test uh, settings, which I will, like I said, I'll show you in a sec. Uh, balance, it'll sell, balance the cells for you. I don't know if it'll, it'll probably take some time here, but it'll even out the individual cells for me here. So that's pretty cool if you just want to balance it out. Lights go green, so that's pretty cool. And then back, of course, being... Oh, I guess it's going to continue to do it in the background. I didn't know that. And then that's about it. So that's the main menu there. I am going to go ahead and show you the servo test. I grabbed a, just a Savox servo here. You guys can check that. It's just the regular Savox 1250. I'm going to go ahead and plug it in and show you what a servo test does. All right, for the servo test, um, you just need any basic servo with a basic servo plug. I'm going to go ahead and connect the main leads into it. You need to have the main leads plugged in. It won't work off just the balance port. I'm going to go ahead and plug in the servo. It is labeled positive, negative, and signal. Plug that in like that. Try to keep it all in the shot here for you. I'm going to go in to that servo test. So it brings up this screen and I heard power get to the servo. Then you can hit this button. I'll see if I can try to do this here. It's a little tricky. If we just hit the button here, it is changing the servo endpoints here from max, center, and minimum. And if you double tap it, it will cycle through the whole range of the servo, testing the minimum the maximum and the center point. So that's pretty cool. If you got a servo you're not really sure about, you want to check the servo over a receiver, uh, you can do that. You can center a servo for a new build. So that's a sweet feature, especially for me having to check um, electronics all the time. Uh, that's really saving me a lot of time having to go find a car with a receiver in it, just so I can check to see if a servo is good or bad, or if a receiver is good or bad. I can just hook it to my checker with just a regular, regular old two cell and see how it works. So, pretty awesome feature. So yeah guys, that's something that's been pretty cool for me. I know it's nothing crazy or big, um, but sometimes it's the little things in the RC game that make me happy. Um, and the Spectrum cell checker has been pretty sweet. Uh, you'll probably see me using it around the shop. I've been actually just carrying it in my pocket because I have to check batteries constantly for people. Um, and I have used it in conjunction with my charger. Uh, I'll hook the main leads to the charger and I'll hook the battery balance board in here. Uh, if the best cells are a little low so I can watch them come up uh, evenly um, so I don't damage or, or blow up any batteries because I have to deal with a lot of dead batteries and jump starting them. Uh, so this has been pretty cool. Uh, so shout out to Spectrum. Uh, not being paid by them or anything, but uh, I do like this little product they got. Um, the Smart Cell Checker. Awesome tool. Uh, you guys could consider picking one up. I'll try to link it uh, for you guys. But anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll have some more fresh content for you. Have a good one, guys.